well hello this is a first tutorial or small tutorial about deploying your own Codelia uh, server to Heroku which is by the way completely free and it's a nice way to play around with Lia script and create online courses interactive online courses also uh, with various or different collaborators so to start with you will have to search for Lia script and not the end Codelia so in my case this uh, Heroku website pops up at first so you can either click on this deploy to Heroku button or if you land on github which is the uh, github.com uh, slash Lia script slash Codelia website you will have to uh, project repository you will have to scroll down and click here on the uh, deploy to Heroku button So you will have or will need an uh, account since I re I already have one. I only have to log in. So the next way is to choose a name uh, for your project. Well, I choose Cody Lia. So that means uh, so that this project will be available afterwards at the website codelia.herokuapp.com. So we'll probably also can change the region to Europe there's a lot of configuration uh, we can skip this for now and only stuck to the or stay with the Lia script configuration part which is actually the uh, command share URL and the uh, command response voice key so if you want to share your courses afterwards on Lia script or the Lia script website uh, you will only have to copy this part actually it could be also somewhere else and only uh, remove this your app uh, with your project name on Heroku so in my case this is Cody Lia by the way uh, it's actually not necessary you can do this also afterwards but uh, by using this with this share URL uh, you don't have to do it manually afterwards so but it's still possible and uh, if you want to make your site or the editor also uh, talk talking to you so to use the, the text uh, to speed engine of responsive voice you have to get a responsive voice key so simply visit responsivevoice.org go to prices select a configuration that fits your project the most in my case this is a free uh, version I already also have an uh, login in here and uh, had registered the site previously so codelia.heroku.app is already registered so what is now required is actually only this uh, your site code part so simply if you want to make your website uh, talking to the users or to the visitors you will require the entire script tag but in our case we only need this part this tiny key which is also uh, within here so simply copy this and paste this into the input field below the responsive voice uh, key setup and that's it uh, now you only have to click on the deploy button and wait for approximately So that's it we are actually done by the way if you haven't done any configuration yet you can uh, skip this part and also do this later uh, so you only have to select or go to dashboard uh, so the code Elia, go to settings and in there they reveal config bars so like the responsive voice key you can add this also afterwards but let's first of all as a next step simply go to our project it's on codelia.herokuapp.com so the first thing you'll have to do is to register so click on sign in or use this Lia script a password and then click on register 
so we are registered so we have to sign in again with our email and password and that's it you can create a new node uh, to start with since there's nothing there it is actually always good to start with uh, Leah in it if you type this and afterwards hit enter a little dummy course will be created which you can inspect change its title um, check out what you, what is there so actually we are now in textbook mode but you can also include other features such as spoken text insert any kind of audio file even videos or change the language completely but actually for editing this uh, text put mode is the most appropriate so for simply navigating you can either double click uh, onto any part within your current slide or preview and the cursor will jump uh, to this part or if you uh, click somewhere within the editor uh, the appropriate course slide will be rendered or generated so you can actually if you go back to for example on Codelia we have a new course with its title uh, some documentation about this you can add also logos a uh, logo and some text and you can open it and reopen it whenever you want to you can switch between different uh, editing modes for example and also publish your project on Lia script so only if we click in here on this button so you can share now this entire link with your students uh, or some others who are interested in and so they will have also access to your current to the actual course actually and the difference between publishing courses on uh, Codelia and uh, the project website is actually this tiny uh, home button so if you click on there you, all of your courses will be are visible to the user so and these are my previously visit uh, courses I can reopen them again and the magic actually here is that this is a progressive web app so all the content uh, all your states of your codes and quizzes is actually stored in here but in the website in the browser I mean uh, so there's no server or backend uh, behind this so we do not store any content uh, we only provide some kind of yeah, a better reader for markdown in this case so to go back with if you need some help for example about uh, further Leah script functionalities so the easiest way is if you simply type in Leah which will open this yeah search field you can inspect get some info about what is actually possible in there what are effects and you can also search for example if I want to have a quiz uh, there's this text quiz example uh, so you can either click on it or hit enter oh there's a little bug this will be solved in there so we have now this quiz available so you can play with it around uh, in the preview solution the question is actually missing we can check it's of if it's okay it's correct uh, change the solution was the appropriate answer okay so this works so if you need any help simply type in Leah uh, and search uh, through this information probably if there's some information or if you uh, might need some further functionality that's not uh, in here or that's actually not part of Leah script yet there's also the possibility to use some template courses so there are some examples on github.com Leah templates so these are all courses that um, define some certain functionality and that can be in imported into your project so if you click on it so there's mostly a description and so we actually need to do to use this functionality that's defined in here so if we want to program uh, some AVRs we only have to add this uh, URL or this course URL 
copy it into our close this into our main document let's paste it in here so and we now can use this functionality to program any kind of AVR AVRs so how to do this here are some examples for example we only have to copy this code snippet paste it somewhere within your code or within your project and you have an executable code snippet so this is actually the interesting part this macro uh, is responsible for making this little tiny piece of snippet uh, executable and also editable so you can now execute this the code will be compiled and send back and you can start a simulation in this case a serial read string so what it does is actually it compares your inputs if they fulfill a certain if they are equal to send no this wasn't equal to send we type in send and we got identified you can stop this at any kind uh, at any part and also edit your code if there are some uh, errors in there so this should also be uh, highlighted so ah okay so what are the possible errors okay let's get back to the previous version what else can we do here's a more complex example that includes some of the vocv elements which are actually quite interesting so we can copy this part in here and these book v elements are actually the components that define in this case an led uh, we can define the color and attach them to pins for example if we want to change this blue one uh, oops yeah I have to write correctly yellow so we get the yellow core and what it does is actually uh, it's the same way we are sketch as the macro that makes this piece of code executable and if everything works right you see some kind of blinking uh, within your code you can stop stop this at any time change the order of your pins rerun it well it takes some time and you see the blinking uh, direction has changed so to finish with there are also some drawbacks in using the free but i have to mention only the free version of heroku for this so if you for example upload some images and videos this data will be deleted after 15 minutes so it's better to use or to store your images and videos or data somewhere else but the content will be still there so it's your content and your logins are all stored uh, permanently and if you don't use the project for example for at least half an hour as uh, heroku will send the server to sleep uh, so if you visit your page or your project editor afterwards it might take up to 30 seconds to restart the server but actually content and uh, logins will still be there but all in all it's a cheap way actually to play around and try something out to invite friends or colleagues to create collaboratively uh, online courses and actually everything for free at the moment uh, for at the moment and forever <laughs> well have fun by the way what happens if we publish this now huh. you see everything is also available in there 